morning it's 6 a.m in the morning and i just ate like a little yogurt bowl with some granola poured some cold brew in a glass and i don't even know how i'm awake right now because i'm actually tired super tired today i have a doctor's appointment at 8 30 a.m to get a physical done for my semester at sea voyage in the fall of 2023 i just had to print out all this stuff i'm gonna have to go over with my healthcare provider all the medicines like a four month supply if i get seasick or benadryl tylenol things like that they also have to do like the physical test height weight bmi blood pressure all that stuff and then i also have to get all these shots before i go on the trip and so today is gonna be the day where we kind of schedule when I'm gonna get each of those shots. I gotta show you all this list though because it's so many shots. All of this. I already have the COVID-19 vaccine, but I don't have typhoid, tetanus, polio, rabies. I need to wake up, so I'm gonna finish this coffee. I also started watching on Netflix, Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. Do you have your insurance card driver's license? Yeah, let me get my driver's. All right, so I'm at the doctor's right now. Dr. Sanchez just left. She actually was my old neighbor, fun fact. And we just did the physical. It was pretty easy, really, really quick. I was supposed to do a blood test, like a lipid panel but I did eat yogurt this morning and coffee, so we're gonna have to do that another day. Basically, Semester at Sea gives you a recommended list of all the vaccinations and shots that you should get. We went over that list, and then she also is sending a bunch of medication for seasickness, like diarrhea stuff, to CVS that we're gonna end up picking up. Just know, if you do wanna go on Semester at Sea, you're probably gonna need to get a lot of things because there's a lot of factors that go into it. Oh my gosh, I'm literally stressed out right now. So basically, my appointment was at 8.30. At 9 a.m. this morning, course registrations for semester at sea opened and missed out on the opportunity to get in classes because they're filled up already. Shout out to my roommate. I sent her my login info and the CRN numbers, which is like the serial numbers for the classes. And she's doing it right now for me because I don't have my laptop or Wi-Fi to do it. Well, I did bring my laptop. I like hid it under here, but... I had my doctor's appointment. Who knows what classes I'm gonna end up taking because I just wrote down like a bunch of random options and she's doing them for me right now. Appreciate you very much if you're watching this. Also, um, I'm, oh! <gasps> okay, so pranked. Apparently my login isn't working, which means we're going into a bakery right now and I'm gonna go sign up for my classes ASAP. I'm so stressed out. All right, it's been done. I'm taking global studies, health and wellness, marketing, and individual and family development. We're eating at this place called the Great British Bakery. This is the best thing that I've ever had in my entire life. Come to Dripping Springs and get this. She lies, and she's an opportunist, and I don't like opportunist people. Speak your truth. Let's let the public hear that one. I also got a lavender scone thingy. I'm gonna try it right now. The guy that was working there was really attractive. I think I also just have a thing for accents. So there's that. You have very pretty eyes. <laughs> Let's try this bad boy. Oh my gosh. This is literally lavender. So my friend Mary Margaret and I are hanging out tomorrow. I went to high school with her. I'm taking her here tomorrow because she would totally eat this whole place up. But yeah, the Great British Baking Company. Good morning, everyone. I just finished my walk with matcha. He's all wet from the sprinklers. I just thought I'd pick up the camera. We've got a very eventful day. I do love my morning walks. They definitely set the tone for the day and it's also really good exercise for this little one. Guys, I'm all shot up. Okay, so I got my blood drawn today at 8.45. Ow, oh my gosh. And shout out Miss Tiffany, love you. She did it painless, it was nice. And then I got two shots two shots my flu shot and my meningitis because you have to get that well you don't have to but it's recommended 
So thank you, ARC. It's where my mom used to work, by the way. And yeah, they got me in and out. I got all my stuff and I'm ready for semester at sea. It's gonna be a party. Cutie, cutie. It's dark. You can't I know. Us. If it didn't have this obnoxious string. You could take it out, I bet. Undo the knot. And, like, also, I feel like this part is like really thick. I mean, it's cute. Cutie, cutie. Hello everyone, Mary and I Hello, Flo. are at the Austin Antique Mall. I'm excited. This is my first time going. Is this your first time? Here? Yes. yes. Ah, we're about to go antique shopping. Let's do it. Jenny's ice cream. What'd you get? <sighs> oh, Texas sheet yeah. cake. <laughs> so it has sheet cake in it, I believe, and it's vegan, which dairy free. Yeah. Is it like made out of coconut? Is that why? It said it has nuts in it. Mm. It said it had wheat in it, so I don't know what is in it. What they put in it, but it is so delicious. I got a mix. I got brambleberry crisp, and then I got darkest chocolate. <laughs> This is about to be so good. It tastes like coconut though. I think it's probably coconut in it. Mmm, dark chocolate is so good. So, basically, we didn't end up getting anything from the antique store. Although we did find some really good things there. Like, we're going to another one because we, de we didn't spend enough time in the other one. Wait, we're upside down. I know, my thing is like broken. <laughs> Did it just flip or mm -hmm. am I, okay, I was like, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Cause like, if I press it in, it's but when I let go, it does it automatically send stuff to your phone? Mm -mm. I have like a little thingy that I put it in my phone. We ate at Mama Foo's. We did get the kids menu. And you know what? This ice cream costs more than our meal, so. I'm proud of us. I am proud of us too. <gasps> we made cookies. Are they good? I haven't tried yet, but no, I like her. Can I get a tissue? Yeah. Okay, taste test. Do we go halves on one yeah, or full? they're huge. Which one? Um, no, I'm going halves on Mary. Well, the giant one. <laughs> okay. Whoa. We made some homemade. Oh, they're kind of... We well, should have the break on camera. Should I? No, they look good. I like Are you baby. sure it's cooked? It looks cooked. Yeah, look. that looks, yeah. <laughs> it's just hot. Surely right? it's cooked. Yeah, that's fine. It yeah. looks cooked. Okay. That's cooked. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like cookie dough, so even if it wasn't cooked. It's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is like, wait, I want to like eat the middle part, but like classic. Oh, I can't even know. get to it. Well, it's gotta have chocolate. Yeah, <clears throat> the chocolate in this is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. We went on a walk today. And the dog's paws were horrible, but he got a bath, so it's all good. And this is amazing. Ooh, Macha thought that was for him. Also, <laughs> Macha lost his first tooth, and it was a huge one. It looked like a molar. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys see this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't do anything. Love y'all. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao. Bye.